Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Tontia here again with another interesting and educative video. As the title goes, I will be giving you tips on how to stay fresh and clean as a woman. So do not go anywhere. We are going to begin from the hair down to your feet. As a woman, you need to wash your hair with shampoo and conditioner. You don't have to go about carrying dirty and smelling hair. You have to wash your hair as at when due. Do not let it overstay. Even when you make braids and all of that, ensure that you wash your hair properly. The next is your face. You have to wash your face twice a day, in the morning and in the evening. And also, you have to exfoliate your face, but that should be done once a week. That's if you have sensitive skin. Or in general, just ensure that you exfoliate your face once a week. And do not forget to apply sunscreen whenever you're going out. It protects your skin from the UV rays. The next is um, facial hair. This is optional because I don't do it. Why? Because anytime I do it, I get rash. So you have to know your skin type and do accordingly. When removing your facial hair, ensure you do it gently or you visit a professional. The next tip is oral. You take good care of your oral hygiene. You brush your teeth twice a day, but if you cannot, ensure that you brush your teeth once a day don't go a day without brushing your teeth it's very very bad and do not eat before you brush your teeth ensure that you brush your teeth before you eat so that you don't the germs that are already out you don't take them back into your stomach you can also floss your teeth to remove particles especially when you've eaten to remove food particles from your teeth you can floss your teeth as at when you and for those of you with a terrible mouth odor, ensure you visit a dentist to check what is wrong. Because we all know that most people brush, but at the end of the day, they still have um, smelly or stale breath. So ensure you visit a dentist for proper checkup. And another point is that we are still on the oral hygiene. Do not forget to change your toothbrush every three months. The next tip I'm going to give you, I forgot to mention before the oral hygiene, the next tip is your nasal hygiene. You understand? For those of you that grow long hairs um, from your nostrils, ensure that you cut them when necessary. Do not allow them to overgrow. And also, um, for this is for everybody in general. When taking your bath, ensure you clean your nose too. Either you use your um, cloth your sponge or you use your hand ensure your hand is wet before you use it to clean your nose that's going to remove once you do it you're going to see dried mucus and um death uh we are still on the facial um, hygiene when doing all of this do not forget the back of your ear wash it properly because if you don't just if you've not been doing it take your hand to do like this you see that it is smelly. You understand that type of thing. So ensure that you wash the back of your ears properly. Do not forget the back of your neck also. Especially those that have hair or made hair, ensure that you wash it. So do not forget to wash the back of your neck, the back of your ear. Those are very, very important. And even your outer part of your ear, ensure that you clean it. Finally, we've come to the body. Ensure that you take your bath twice a day. Or would I say at least once a day in case there is no water in your area? But on a normal, ensure that you take your bath twice a day. Don't say you've used your hands to wash your body. Ensure you make use of a um, sponge, a glove, or a washcloth, depending on whatever you're using. But ensure you make use of a sponge to scrub your body properly. And always wash your armpits, your underarm. Always wash it. So that you don't go about smelling. Always wash your navel. Especially those of you that have tiny navel that is inside, ensure that you wash it properly so that it doesn't smell. Always incorporate body scrub into your shower routine. It's going to help. You can do it twice a week. But if you have sensitive skin, ensure you do it once a week. So just watch how your body reacts 
to read so that you don't you know over strip your body and do not forget to moisturize when you wash your eyes look for a good oil to seal it in wear a body mist or a deodorant or a perfume you can wear three of them it depends on how you want it so ensure that why after you've taken your baths after you've moisturized after you've seen in the moisture ensure you rub a deodorant you spray a body mist you spray your perfumes and do not forget if you have all those things and you're not washing your armpits well you're going to smell just so you know for body hair when you want to remove your body hair you have to do it properly just like i said for the facial hair you have to do it properly and gently so that you don't irritate your skin or if you know that you are not capable of doing it ensure you go to the spa you visit a professional that is going to help you do it the next thing remove your pubic hairs when necessary so people will carry theirs for as long as but do what suits you you can remove your pubic hair twice in a month or once in a month it depends but ensure that you remove your pubic hair that's for the lower parts for your armpits ensure you shave twice a month but if your hair doesn't grow often ensure you shave once a month either you use a shaving stick or you wax it's going to help you get rid of smelly odor so that you don't go about having body odor for cleaning your lady part area you have to make use of water but if you are the type that is not comfortable with using only water you have to use soap for sensitive skin or you use a feminine wash that is okay for you but do not go about using any and anything down there to clean your lady parts it's very very bad and unhygienic it can even make you to have yeast infections amongst others especially medicated soap is not good when going about your day, wear cotton panties, but at night, allow that place to breathe. You can just put on your PJs alone, you understand? Do not, you know, make that place to be tight, 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 tight every time. Ensure that at night, you let that place breathe. Let air enter inside so that it will not be moist. For your um, vaginal discharge, you have to make use of panty liners. This should be after your period so that it doesn't cause discoloration of your panties. The next thing for you know the well-being and health of your lady part area, ensure you take probiotics or supplements. Or you can even drink cranberry juice or you take plain yogurt. It helps very, very well. That's if you don't want to take probiotics. You can um, make use of kunu, you can make use of yogurt, you can make use of cranberry juice. Once you start taking it, you're going to notice a difference there. So do not forget to take your hygiene in general seriously and the hygiene of your lady part area seriously. And for your monthly flow hygiene, ensure you change your pad once it's full. Don't go about with an over full pad. One is going to spill out and also it's going to start smell because you have, it has stayed for a very long time so ensure you change your pad once it's full and during this period take your shower seriously you have to take your bath in the morning you have to take your bath at night for your feet wash your feet properly when taking your bath scrub in between your toes scrub it very very well you can also make use of foot scrub or you get if you don't have money you can get those ones that out the outside people used to sell in Wimbaru, those stones you can get it buy it and scrub your foot very very well to keep your feet smelling nice and soft and always moisturize as you moisturize your body do not forget your feet always moisturize your feet too the next is your hands ensure that you wash your hands properly even um, before you eat, after you eat, you remember when we were in school, they will tell you wash your hands properly. Yes, wash your hands properly and always use um, a hand cream to keep your hands moisturized. Say touch babe, you don't have to go about, you know, dry, strong hands. Ah, it doesn't tell nice of you. So ensure you wash your hands properly and make use of hand cream. 
the next thing, your brass. Your brazy, yes, your brazy. Ensure you change your brass three times in a week. That's if you don't have enough to change every day. Ensure you change your brass three times in a week. Do not make use of one bra for a week. It's very, very bad and it's unhygienic. So ensure you change your brass and wash them properly. After your brass, your underwears. For your underwears, ensure that you wear your pants once a day don't wear one pants for two days it's very very bad although i've not seen anybody any female do that or ensure that you should not be the first person to do that if it's for guys they'll say okay guys but as a lady ensure that you change your pants every day for your tights you can wear it you know one tight for two days but if you have enough ensure you change it every day so that you'll be smelling nice it's not when you want to see that or you are standing up you know as you just stand everywhere just smelling it's not only armpits that is to smell even there to change your panties every day so that it doesn't breed any odor that's all we have for today i'll be coming with another one next week so do not go anywhere make sure you like comment and subscribe don't forget to check out my other videos also. I'll see you in my next one. The next one is for you guys. So don't go anywhere.